Today I wanted to explore a little bit more of the Korean makeup as this is personally very close to Australia and we have some Korean products here in Australia and I just wanted to get my hand on some Korean makeup as this is something completely new. I've never tried Korean makeup before so I just was curious to see how it would perform and also how I would feel about it. And so for today's video I'm going to talk about the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream and I just recently got it and I started using it and I just personally find that it's something completely new that it has like it's different to the US makeup brands it's completely different to the Europe make makeup brand and I'm not really familiar with any Korean makeup so I just was curious and see how it would turn out basically now when it comes to the Misha BB cream, I started also looking up the shade range. I'm in uh, the number 21 light beige. In total, they have on their website what they show, they have six shades, but it's more like to light to medium shades. Like you don't really have a darker range, but I mean, in Korea, it's all about the lighter your skin, the more beautiful you are. Whereas in Europe, for example, or maybe also in the US, I don't know for sure, it's more the bronze you are, the beautiful you are. So it's the opposite. So I just wanted to pick my shade and this one also per like matches me perfectly. And of course, they don't have darker shades. So I'm sorry if you have a deeper skin tone, um, then you won't find your shade with this brand. But I still wanted to give it a go and also do the video about it. So I just found out that first, like you have a beautiful packaging. It says also that it has SPF 42 in it, which is pretty high. And for me, I, I mean, I'm in the tropics, I'm in Australia. So SPF is really important, especially if you don't want to burn yourself and your face is also very sensitive. So I just wanted to give it a good go and it just like suits the area where I'm living. So this is already a plus point that they have like such a high SPF number on it. And it also is a BB cream. So from my recent experience that I had with CC creams and BB creams, I'm really impressed with them. And I also do like to use them as they're lightweight. And it also will give you a natural and beautiful finish. So this is what I'm going to demonstrate you today as well. And I'm going to apply it with a brush. You could also use your fingers, depends on the coverage you want to reach. If you just want to have a very light and beautiful, like even coverage, you can also apply it with your fingers. I just personally find that with a brush, it works the best for me. So I'm just going to take my hair back and then we can start with the application. So now I've moisturized already my face and I'm going to use, it comes with a beautiful pump, even though it's a tube, so that's also very handy and you can also use it for travel and it won't give you a mess and I'm also going to use it with the brush so I'm going to start off by just using it a bit on a brush and I'm going to apply it it looks now maybe white but you're not going to use a lot of product so you want to make sure that you're going to blend it in evenly on your skin and what it does is basically what a BB cream should do is basically um, help you to get an any uneven colors or like discoloration on your face, it should basically should even it out. And it will give you a very natural finish. I mean, if we have a closer look at Korean makeup, like how they apply it, they definitely would go with lighter shades. They, I guess I just would go even lighter with the shades just to match how their trends are going. Um, but I just wanted to have something that matches my skin type the best. And this is the shade that I've got. Now, I do want to say that when they are applying their makeup, it's pretty natural. So it's definitely not heavy. They are not really having any like full coverage, thick foundations. If they're doing an eye makeup look, they're going to keep it very simple. Um, like even though also with their eye shapes, of course. I mean, they have a completely different culture when it comes to how, how it applies, like how you're applying their makeup. That's why I just wanted to give it a go and have some experience with, at first, with the base product, what they use normally for the daily basis. Now, I've also spoke to a Korean um, friend, which I met like a few like weeks ago at a party, and I've asked her for Korean brands as she is Korean. And she also used to apply makeup quite a lot when she was a bit younger. And she told me, like so many different brands that are typical Koreans and I'm not saying like not US brands that are like 
um, made up to be Korean. I'm talking about real Korean brands. And so this is basically one of them, and in, the brand name is Misha. So from what I've experienced while I was testing out a product and also applying it, using it on a daily basis, it just looks so beautiful and refreshing. I mean, I'm looking down into the mirror to make sure that I have no lines going on or strange like patches so that I can apply it evenly. But it just will... Um, give you a beautiful and also very soft looking and natural look and you're not supposed to use it like a lot it basically says on the packaging that you should use an appropriate amount of product whatever this means um, so I just would go in light handed and then if you feel like you want to go a bit more then you can add a bit more but I wouldn't use it like I wouldn't overdo it as this is not like how you're supposed to use the product just because it's a completely different culture now I'm just going around this area. And it just will give you a beautiful and finished look. Now what I've done is I've used it also like with other makeup products on top. I've used it with my normal powders, a little bit of bronzer. So I just kind of mixed it from US makeup trends to European makeup trends to Korean makeup brands. So I basically just came out beautifully and it was even, it, I had no problems with like major creasing. I just set it with powder as I just prefer to do this. You can also just let it as it is, but this is basically the finish that it gives me. Now what caught my curiosity about this product is the high SPF range and I totally like get it. I mean it says on the packaging that they have approved it from the Korean side, so it's not Australian approved, but um, from like how high it is and also how Koreans also wanted to protect themselves from the sun just because they want to be light then I totally get it and I'm so happy that I found a BB cream that has a high SPF it layers on top beautifully it's not getting greasy and nothing like if I'm applying the rest of my normal makeup products on top it just works beautifully and I can't say anything against it except that it's a beautiful BB cream so if you are after a BB cream with a high SPF then I definitely would recommend you the um, Misha the perfect cover BB cream as this just works beautifully now keep in mind the shade range is not a lot so you kind of have to be light or if you want to be Korean and you want to have a lighter skin then of course this will work for you as well but it just does a beautiful job and I like I haven't had any negative issues with it except that it just will lay on top beautifully and um, this is what I wanted to share with you guys it's a very lightweight BB cream and you shouldn't supposed to wear it like a lot like that you are going to have a layer like a thick layer on top you just should use it very evenly and also very lightweight. This is how it's supposed to wear. And this is what I've basically done and I just feel good with the cream. So I'm really impressed with it and I'm definitely going to get more of Korean products as I'm very curious about how they create their products and also how they perform as it's, it's like a completely different culture. So I hope you enjoyed this review and also the video. And maybe I also got your curiosity to try out some Korean brands. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you've tried it yourself, let me know as well. I wanted to hear your feedback. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye!